That's Fairport Convention from the CD, uh, What We Did on Our Holidays. And uh, that reminds me of having a wonderful time. I, I did, um, I, well, I just played the, the, the play, Having a Wonderful Time, because it was the, the next one in the sequence from uh, News from the Sun. And uh, this is supposed to be the drama hour. There has to be some storytelling. Well, there should be some storytelling as part of it, although it's mostly music at the moment. Um, the storyteller will be back back soon. Uh, this is Phonic FM, by the way, 106.8, www.phonic.fm. And um, having a wonderful time uh, could be extended into a play or a situation because it's about people who appear to be on holiday but actually are not going to come back. There's kind of surplus to the government's requirement. And um, the idea of uh, leisure activities, um, amateur dramatics, it's all, it's all containment, really. And maybe that's how uh, we should look at uh, community radio, folk festivals, uh, summer holidays. I don't know, it's just there to be explored. Um, so I'll, that's one of the things I'd like to talk to Joe about. Um, I'd just like to say, it's not really a story, it would be a situation. I've tried to describe this before when I was talking to Simon, but just, just a bit more. News from the Sun, I found that story on the Internet Archive as a radio play because there was a, a, an art exhibition, uh, still pictures on the wall upstairs in the, in the galleries. And then there was a, a phonicon, which was a, a phonic event, and during that event, the basement was open and lots of visitors came down and then they were able to leave again. They did come out the same stairs that they, they came down here. But what I thought was, if you, if you had another event at some point in the future that was based on having a wonderful time, there could still be pictures on the, on the gallery walls upstairs and there could still be an event down down here, uh, but this would include a drama of some sort, some sort of situation. I don't, I don't know if it, if drama's supposed to have a script or if you have to have a script, or whether it can just be um, sort of instructions. So the instruction would be sort of go. Some people, some part of the audience would stay upstairs because they would have to realise that nobody was coming out again. And um, then I'm not sure what they would do. There, there is a fire escape, or there are, I, I, think, there, I think there is another way out of the basement here at, here at the Phoenix. And so people wouldn't really disappear. It would be a play, um, but they'd have to sign an agreement or something like that not to tell the other people. And then what the people upstairs would do when they realised that it was some kind of um, dangerous situation. I'm not sure. But it would have to be resolved by the end of the day, somehow. Uh, anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll try and talk to some more people about that and see if that can be developed as an idea. I'm, I'm sure there's lots of, of art that could go on, on the gallery space. Having a wonderful time, it's, it's just a, a, a story like, like News from the Sun. So I'm, I, I, th I think that aspect of it could could be worked out. It's just um, how you how you set up the audience in a in a in a way that's fair um, and is going to work at, at the same time. So um, keeping them apart might be might be a problem. Anyway, uh, this next track uh, I'm going to play some some folk music from Sidmouth uh, that might be in a marquee somewhere like that. Um, this is, this is uh, from a, a CD called Borderlands by Catherine Tickell. <laughs> 